show we're about to play. I'm going to have Kurt repost on the front page of InfoWars.com. We posted it last week. Uh, but this is the, the the end of Judge Napolitano's last show a few weeks ago. And he got fired because, fired from his uh, Fox Business show, because he wouldn't play globalist ball. And because Rupert Murdoch is basically being blackmailed with all his criminal cases of spying and wiretapping in England, and there's open talk of the Justice Department indicting him here, and because Judge Napolitano was supporting uh, Ron Paul and wouldn't shut up about it, and was exposing that the emperor has no clothes, and that both political parties are controlled by the same interest. Here is some of the most powerful uh, information in, in only four minutes that I've ever seen. Here it is with Judge Napolitano. What if that establishment doesn't want and doesn't have the consent of the governed? What if the two-party system was actually a mechanism used to limit so-called public opinion? What if there were more than two sides to every issue, but the two parties wanted to box you into a corner, one of their corners? What if there's no such thing as public opinion, because every thinking person has opinions that are uniquely his own? What if what we call public opinion was just a manufactured narrative that makes it easier to convince people that if their views are different, then there's something wrong with that, or there's something wrong with them? What if the whole purpose of the Democratic and Republican parties was not to expand voters' choices, but to limit them? What if the widely perceived differences between the two parties was just an illusion? What if the heart of the government policy remains the same, no matter who's in the White House? What if the heart of government policy remains the same, no matter what the people want? What if those vaunted differences between Democrat and Republican were actually just minor disagreements? What if both parties just want power and are willing to have young people fight meaningless wars in order to enhance that power? What if both parties continue to fight the war on drugs just to give bureaucrats and cops bigger budgets and more jobs? What if government policies didn't change when government leaders did? What if no matter who won an election, government stayed the same? What if government was really a revolving door for political hacks bent on exploiting the people once they're in charge. What if both parties supported welfare, war, debt, bailouts, and big government? What if the rhetoric that candidates displayed on the campaign trail was dumped after electoral victory? What if Barack Obama campaigned as an anti-war, pro-civil liberties candidate and then waged senseless wars while assaulting your rights that the Constitution is supposed to protect? What if George W. Bush campaigned on a platform of non-intervention and small government and then waged a foreign policy of muscular military intervention and a domestic policy of vast government borrowing and growth? What if Bill Clinton declared that the era of big government was over but actually just convinced Republicans like Newt Gingrich that they can get what they want out of big government too? What if the Republicans went along with it? What if Ronald Reagan spent six years running for president, promising to shrink the government, but then the government grew while he was in the White House? What if, notwithstanding Reagan's ideas and cheerfulness and libertarian rhetoric, there really was no Reagan revolution at all? What if all this is happening again? What if Rick Santorum is being embraced by voters who want small government? Even though Senator Santorum voted for the Patriot Act, for an expansion of Medicare, and for raising the debt ceiling by trillions of dollars. What if Mitt Romney is being embraced by voters who want anyone but Barack Obama, but they don't realize that Mitt Romney might as well be Barack Obama on everything from warfare to welfare? What if Ron Paul is being ignored by the media, not because, as it claims, he's unappealing or unelectable, but because he doesn't fit into the pre-manufactured public opinion mold used by the establishment to pigeonhole the electorate and create the so-called narrative that drives media coverage of elections? What if the biggest difference between most candidates was not substance, but style? What if those stylistic differences were packaged as substantive ones to reinforce the illusion of a difference between Democrats and Republicans? What if Mitt, Wa Mitt Romney wins and ends up continuing most of the same policies that Barack Obama promoted? What if Barack Obama's policies, too, are merely extensions of those from George W. Bush? What if a government that manipulated us could be fired? What if a government that lacked the true and knowing consent of the governed could be dismissed? What if it were possible to have a real game changer? What if we need a Ron Paul to preserve and protect our freedoms from the government? What if we can make elections matter again? 
What if we could do something about this? From New York, defending freedom every night of the week. Not anymore. You're off the air. And they're now openly calling to shut down shows like this one with Internet censorship, the Fairness Doctrine, and the rest of it. It's because he broke the rule and endorsed Ron Paul that he's off the air. And they got rid of Buchanan over at MSNBC for the same type of stuff. They're getting ready for a giant new war. Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds? Go to Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv for the latest headlines and cutting-edge information.